And right now, my next guest is calling in right here, right now, from KZW. I'm joined with Violet Wayne, and uh, she's joining me right now. Hello, Violet, and welcome to the show. Hey, Kenny. Thanks for having me. This is a great opportunity. I appreciate this. I definitely appreciate having you on, and um, definitely thank you for your time. Uh, I see you've been listening to the show, and I hope I'm not be chopping in and out or anything. Well, it's been a little, you know, a little bit bandwidth problems with it. You know, you can't help that. It's not you. It's the uh, yeah. channel, I guess. Internet technology. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Violet, let's go ahead and uh, begin. Uh, what got you into wrestling? How did it all start for you? Well, I've been watching since I was a kid, and uh, one of the things that made me decide to go ahead and be like, you know, I can do this, my stepdad took me to Rupp Arena, and I got to see, up close and personal, I got to see Bret Hart, you know, and he was like, you know, you can, you know, the sharpshooter, you know, you know, just doing it how he was doing it, and the submissions, the, the technical wrestling, it just, man, I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. That's awesome. I mean, you get, you got a chance to see Bret Hart. Wow, that that's awesome. Um, I didn't start going to wrestling shows until the 2000s, so I didn't get a chance to see, you know, Sean and Bret and Steve Austin and all those guys doing the Attitude Era or Fortune for me. But uh, that's awesome, a Violet. So, like, who trained you? get into uh getting into wrestling who who are some of your trainers that you have worked with uh, some of the trainers i have worked with have been uh i've worked with johnny fox before i worked with the big dog cujo i worked with johnny bad the zodiac i've worked with uh, several different people but right now i'm uh working in kzw and trying to train you know when i can when i can and watching videos and studying and you know everyone who's been been a part of my career has been you know has added something and made me who i am and I continue to learn and be who I can be, and hopefully one day be a. I'd like to go to Japan. That'd be like one of my big goals. Man. That's definitely awesome. Um, so do you remember your first ever wrestling match that you ever had? And if so, who was your opponent and and what company it was at? It was actually quite a while back. It was my first match, and it was actually a battle royal. It was several different girls in it. I probably couldn't tell you who all was in it at the time, but I was underneath the mask at the, and, you know, just trying to, I was, you know, nervous and scared and did my thing basically the best I could and, you know, got thrown out of the ring and there's the fight another day. Well, at least, at least that's good. You know, you made a depression. You made a name for yourself. And... You know, your opponents recognize who you are and what you're made of. Uh, What I want to ask you is, of of all the type of matches that you've been a part of, do you consider the Battle Royal the most difficult match to get ready for, considering it's not just you versus one person, it's you and multiple wrestlers. You have to, it's pretty much you have to have the, the eyes at the back of your head. Yeah, that is true. Battle Royal is, uh, to me, or at least for me personally, to get you know, difficult to get ready for because, you know, you have no friends. Everyone, you know, wanting to to win and be out for themselves, and you know, it's it's a thing. You got to do what you got to do to win. And you know, t- even tag teams, great tag teams, have turned against each other in a battle royal. I mean, like you said, eyes in the back of your head, and the next thing you know, you're going to be thrown out, even by your one of your best friends. You never know what's going to happen. So currently, as you brought up, you now work for KCW. Um, what's it like working with them? How's it all been for you thus far? KCW actually has been awesome. Uh, I have a great time there. Currently, I am the Bombshells champion. But, you know, like I got here's competition with Michelle Myers and Venus and whomever Michelle or remember somebody, Michelle, I guess Michelle books it. I don't know. Get her on, she gets on my nerves and beat that, won't beat her up. <laughs> I get her in a street fight February 1st. 
and Russell Strange. So everybody needs to come out and see that. Oh, that's definitely going to be interesting, and especially the rivalry you have had with Michelle, not just in mm-hmm. um, in KCW, but I think you got a rivalry with her at the uh, well, Bluegrass Championship Wrestling. Uh, I think that's what the name of the company. Yeah, I've, I've fought with her through Bluegrass Championship Wrestling. I've been to Harlan and had a casket match with her there, and you know, street fight with her in KCW, and where you know she got the better of me that day, but. This time is going to be different, and we're going to light up the street fight. Everybody come out and join us. It'll be fun. Most definitely, and everybody go check that out. Of course, I am joined with Violet Wayne here on Triple Threat Wrestling Radio. So, um, what are some goals you want to set for yourself? Obviously, you're all the bombshell champion. That's, that's a goal itself. But what are some other some goals you want to accomplish this year? Well, I'd like to, you know, travel a little bit more, go to some different states and different companies and, you know, learn there and fly my trade there and, you know, fight some of the talented women that's around the country, you know, at least in the area, Indiana, Tennessee, South Carolina, you know, Florida, wherever I can eventually go. And, you know, I'd like to, my biggest goal is like to go overseas and to Japan. And like I said, it just that's just something I've, I've always wanted to do because, Wilma Connor was like one of my bigger influences. That is awesome. And you know, that that's a good way to go about it as far as, you know, wanting to make a name for yourself. I mean, to go to Japan, I feel like Japan has definitely has one of the most well-respected wrestling countries, if you will. Just the culture and how they go about their business and just, I mean, it's like you are in awe when you watch these wrestlers compete in Japan? Yeah, I've always liked to watch them, and then I'll, I'll watch the, uh, you know, I like to watch, you know, uh, the WCW, the Cruiserweight division. They were always great, and, you know, I always wondered how, you know, how they could defy gravity and, you know, how to put, you know, do everything, put it together, and then make it work. It was just awesome. It, it put me in awe when I got to go see it live and everything up too. So, if you can have a dream match with anyone out there, it could be male, female, it could be indie or pro, dead or alive, uh, what would your dream match be? Who would your opponent, I should say, would be? I would love to actually go one-on-one with Bill Meccano because I feel that, you know, she'd have a, I'd learn a lot from her and it, she, you know, I just always loved her style. I'm definitely a fan of her as well. Just, just incredible body of work and just well respected. And, you know, obviously, we are days removed from the passing of Mae Young, uh, a true pioneer in the wrestling business. Uh, do you have a, a favorite? May Young memory that you may have watched on TV or a match that you may have saw. Like, do you have a favorite moment from May? Uh, well, like you said, May was a pioneer, and I was well, listening a little bit earlier, and I totally agree with you. I was in awe when she took the power bomb at 70 years old, man. Because you never know; you're not going to have many people to take a table power bomb much less one at 70. That's like one of my favorite things of hers. And she was always, you know, tell it like it is and kick butt. Uh, yeah, I, to this day, I, I'm still dumbfounded that, that that she wanted to go through that. I mean, no no elderly woman should have to go through that, or elderly person for that matter. Uh, but she did it. She held her own, and she did get her revenge <laughs> when she did the Bronco Buster they uh they were WWE did a tribute that showing some moments of her and she did a Bronco Buster I mean she I guess you get a fine wine you get better with age but as far as personality and charisma I mean she was the life of the party I mean and they had a party until May Young is there yeah it was it was always a party when they showed up and you know she always you know and when you watched her and Moolah on 
doing their thing on TV. It's always Moolah trying to keep May in line, and May was the wild one, and she was the older one. Just always loved that. You know, you couldn't keep her down no matter, you know, the age or anything she was doing. She'd always got back up and do it again. Again, rest in peace to uh, Mae Young, who passed away this past Wednesday. Um, and like I said earlier, as you already pointed out, women wrestlers everywhere. I mean, those are some big shoes to to fill now that she's no longer with us. But I do have a lot of faith for a lot of well-respected women wrestlers, such as yourself, to carry her legacy uh, for many years to come. And uh, she definitely will be missed. Most definitely. Rest in peace, May. Absolutely. Uh, what would your advice be, Violet, for anyone out there that wants to become a wrestler, that wants to get into the business? It doesn't necess- necessarily have to be maybe starting to a wrestler, per se, or just at least get mm-hmm. started. Uh, what would your advice be? Well, honestly, you know, I don't feel I should, I can really give an opinion on this, but I, well, from my perspective, what I've been told is, you know, get a decent trainer, listen to them, be safe, respect your, respect your vets, learn your psychology, and, you know, you don't have to keep doing spot after spot for spot to tell a story, but if, if um, someone gives you advice, especially someone who's been in for, for years, uh, take it and you know, work with it. Don't just blow it off because they've been there. They've done that. Absolutely. Where words are said and especially the psychology side of things, you know, you got to go through a character. You got to go through storylines. And I mean, this is not boxing or or MMA when you just beat the person up. You got to go through character you gotta go through storylines you gotta go through angles and you're not gonna be the person winning every single match you know it's, you just gotta it just it is what it is and um mm-hmm. and as long as people understand that uh, especially the wrestlers themselves so you know then they'll be okay they will be okay just step stay away from the backyard wrestling stuff yeah. <laughs> stay away One thing from I've- it. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned is stay away from that. Don't, you know, try to do the, all that, you know, white tubes and everything else. And just trying to learn what wrestling is on YouTube doesn't make you a wrestler. It doesn't keep you properly trained and you can hurt somebody and yourself. Well said. Well, uh, Violet, it was great chatting with you. Thank you for your time. Uh, I hope one day. I will be able to go to a KCW show. I, like I told you, I've been there before. Mm-hmm. It was under a different character, and I, <laughs> I wasn't aware of it at the time. Uh, but I hope I'll be able to, to be there again at a future show. I don't know exactly when, but you know, when I do have Saturdays open, because Saturdays, that's when I do my other show, um, then maybe mm-hmm. one day I'll be able to to, to to stop by and check out the action. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Kenny. And you know, KBW would just love to have you come on down. Hey, we have some, we're all going to have some fun. And again, thanks for the opportunity to speak on here. And everyone, come see the show February first. Street fight. You won't regret it. <laughs>